can anybody say an evil man cannot be president of Nigeria and I will accept it, then it shows how brainless I am. If I'm the president of Nigeria today, I would have turned Southeast Nigeria into the hub, our own Silicon Valley. These are people endowed. They're as brilliant as the Chinese, the Koreans, and the Indians put together. We have them. Why are we not using them? Well, because there was a civil war before, and we said we have uh, forgiven ourselves, and now, so, but you are forgiving yourselves, but an Igbo man cannot become anything in Nigeria, cannot be president, cannot be trusted to be inspector general of police, cannot be trusted. Why? Look at Joe Biden. He has already appointed Nigerians into his government. Already. Before he even, before his inauguration, he already appointed Nigerians. He didn't say, because they say Nigerians, so they are very corrupt people, all those stupid, you know, sentiments that people express against us. He appointed them. Why? He saw their talent. He appointed the first black man. Now, Pentagon, as a new Secretary of Defense, is a black man in Nigeria. You say an Igbo man cannot be Inspector General of Police, an Igbo man cannot be Chief of Army Staff, an Igbo man. Why? So if you don't want them, if you don't trust them, and they say they want to go, then so why are you then stopping them? Why are you stopping them? Ah, you don't want me, and you are saying, even slaves got freedom. These are people contributing to world economy, not just, I'm, listen, not Nigerian economy. The Igbos are contributing to world economy. There is no country I have been, I will not find an Igbo man, either at the peak of academia, at the peak of business, at the peak of professions. They are everywhere. Medical doctors, surgeons, lawyers, bankers, they are everywhere. And then you come back to Nigeria, you are discriminating against them. And you are saying they will not agitate for their own nation. We are the ones causing the problem. If you want an Igbo man, then bring them nearer and see if they will not perform. In this Lagos today, where we live, anything we want to do now, innovation, the first thing is, let's say, let's go to Computer Village. Who are the people controlling Computer Village? Let's go to Alaba. Who are the people controlling Alaba? Do you think people with empty brains can control those things that they both control? Even with all this fight, we have a, if you go to Kano today, without the Igbo selling spare parts, nobody will function. All the cars there will come to stand still. You go to Sokoto, you will meet them there. Go to Borno, go to Iraq, go to Afghanistan, you see Igbo man doing great. So guys, if you see what Nibu is doing in this country, Nigeria, I don't think every other president has done so. If we check very well in everything he does, he practically stepped the Igbos aside. From all his appointments, he hardly includes the Igbos. In fact, the Igbos are being treated as if they are nobody in this country, Nigeria, most especially in this Tinubu tenor. The rate of tribalism is much. As all this was not enough, Tinubu keeps destroying the Igbos' property in Lagos, claiming the Yorubas own Lagos. In my last video about this issue of ethnicity and religious beliefs, someone commented, Some Nigeria with tribalism and religious sentiment are the major cause of Nigeria presidential election rigging. And until a real qualified, unity-minded, non-corrupt, educated, and not more than 65 years age is elected to, to be the president without rigging, Nigeria will never be a good nation. So guys, what this particular person said is just the real fact about this nation, Nigeria. You can see that what Dele Momodu said is true because Tinubu is being so tribatic and uncivilized. How can you say people in one part of the country you are ruling are not meant to be this or that? It definitely shows that Tinubu is not qualified to become the president of Nigeria. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me see what you think about this particular video on the comment section.
Thank you very much. See you in my next